Let's hit that. There we go. What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now in this video I'm going to be adding some dust extraction over to my MFT table. So I'm going to be adding into my existing dust extraction system. So we're going to be using some 4 inch or 100 millimeter PVC style pipe. This is the same stuff I used for my original installation. We're going to be taking it up and over just like the pipe behind me here that runs to my motor saw station. We're going to take one up and over to the MFT table. We're going to have a flexible hose that comes off it. I have various attachments and fittings. I have some blast gates. None of this stuff is designed to fit together so we're going to bodge all this together. I'll show you some stuff. You might get some ideas out of this video for yourself how you might want to run your dust extraction system. Nice and simple, nice and easy. And uh, yeah, we'll get some dust extraction over to here for the track saw, for sanding, and for the router. So let's jump in and do it. Okay, so here's where we want to start. We're going to break into our existing system right behind my planar thickness saw, and we're going to use a Y junction to do that. Now, we don't want to use a T junction, and we don't want to use any 90 degree bends in our dust extraction system. 90 degree bends are the enemy of airflow, and we want to keep as much airflow as possible. So we're using a Y, so you can see the air comes in at an angle here. We'll have a 45 that will take us straight up. So we want to avoid 90 degree bends um, if possible. So don't use T's, always use Y's and 45's rather than 90's. So that's the first tip. So we need to cut in here now. We need to add in two blast gates. So we want to close off this entire section of pipe when we're using this one over the MFT table. So let's get on and do that. Okay, so here's the first move. I want to break in here with the Y like I was saying. And I also want to add in this blast gate right here so that I can lock this and shut off all this section of pipe so all my airflow has been drawn down here. So you always want to close off as much of the pipe that's not been used as possible. And because I have quite a long run heading along that way, I'm going to close that off. So we disassemble this to make it easier to cut. Just mark it while the Y is sitting in place there just so I can see where I need to make my cuts. And then we need to get this into the pipe. We need to try and make this fit. So we're gonna have to heat up the pipe. I'll show you that now. And we'll flare the end of the pipe to get this to work with this blast gate because they're not really meant for a soil pipe, but we'll make it work. So let's get on, get this disassembled. Now we get it cut up and we get it reassembled. Okay, we make our first cut on the miter saw and there's no problem cutting PVC pipe on the miter saw. It's nice and easy, so. Just like that. Okay, so let's add in our piece. Now a little bit of wash up liquid around that rubber seal. will always make things a little bit easier because these things can be quite tough to get to go together. There we go. Okay, so that's that one. Now we need to make a little small coupler and then we need to flare a piece of plastic. Let's do that. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is add this blast gate to this pipe. Now these blast gates, you can see they have a kind of a flange, a flared end on them here. So they're designed to work with the flexible hose and to get a Jubilee clip around them. I'm gonna try and fit them to this, but you can see that that is the same diameter. So what we're gonna do is take a heat gun, heat this up, flare it out, and we'll get that to fit in there. So let's do that. Okay, so this is nice and easy. It's just a heat gun. We're gonna heat the end of the PVC pipe and that will make it nice, soft and malleable and you can actually flare this plastic then. It's a nice little way of attaching pipe. If, if you don't have any couplers, you can actually cut a piece like this and you can actually join PVC pipe. Um, you can actually flare this wide enough that it will go inside its own diameter. So let's get on and do that. You can see it's starting to get nice and soft. You can see here just how soft it gets. It actually goes quite rubbery. And that's what we're looking for. We just get it nice and soft all the way around. And 
should do. So nice and quickly then, we should be able to flare that around that pipe just like that. And you can see now, let me get that in there. Let it contract. As it begins to cool down now, that will contract again and uh, it'll form quite a nice seal. So there we go. I'll give you a quick close up of it now. Okay guys, so there you go. You can see the PVC pipe, how it flared just by heating it up, you can expand the end of it. And it gets quite malleable and quite rubbery, like I said. And once it cools, then it contracts. And so that can slip in there nicely. So you can see the nice flared end we have on it now. And we have a nice seal uh, down inside in that pipe. So there you go. You can always use this as a coupler piece to join two pieces of PVC pipe as well, because like I said, you can flare this enough that this pipe will go inside its own diameter. So a nice little tip for you there. Okay, so now it's only a case of add this to our Y coupler there and we can use this for closing off the rest of our pipe. So again, just a bit of soapy water. It really helps. I'll throw this thing down on the floor. Oh, there we go. It can be quite hard <laughs> to get them in through the seal, but like I say, the soapy water does help. And this soil pipe really does seal well because it's designed to um, be airtight because obviously what has to go through it is not very pleasant and you don't want any smells coming out of it. But uh, so it works great for um, dust extraction. So there we go. That's our section in now with our blast gate that we can shut off the rest of our pipe. So we need to flare another piece to go on here and cut that and stick it in. So I'll get on and do that and then uh, we get this back together. Okay guys, there we go. That section is now in. So we have our blast gate here. We just open that up. We want to open up the rest of the pipe. We can lock off the rest of our pipe here. I've just added a bracket here because obviously you have a weak point where this couple is. So we just want to support this where the blast gate is. Then up through our white piece into our 45. Flared another piece here. And that is going to be the blast gate for my MFT table. So nice and easy. Now it's just a case of up and over. Okay guys, so here we are up and over, just like I did in my last video, so 45 and a 45, nice and easy, and I'm just going to cable tie it to this beam. Now, I know some of you guys had some reservations about the cable ties before, but believe me, I've cable tied cables that weigh hundreds of kilos with cable ties up to cable tray rack, and uh, 20 years later, they're all still hanging from the ceiling. So, a little bit of pipe that weighs a couple of pounds, and not even a kilo, maybe two kilos, in total for a whole pipe is going nowhere. So a couple of a few cable ties around that and that's happy days. Even that one big cable tie will keep that up there forever. So I've just put another 45 here. So I'm going to angle a piece of pipe down this one here because I want to be able to reach the end of this to attach and detach my hose. So that's just going to sit right in there like that. And now we can put our reducers on here to get our hose on. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm just going to stick another uh, coupler on this end. Um, I'm just going to use a coupler because it has a rubber seal either side. And I'm going to use this to put my reducer in. So it should give me a good seal and I'll be able to pull my reducer in and out if I ever need to as well. So let's get this guy on. Oh God, they can be quite tough. But they don't come back apart again, which is nice. So. We have a reducer here, you can buy these, um, they pull apart so they step down to any size you want, all the way down from 100 mil down to like 20 mil, so uh, 4 inches down to an inch, so uh, there we go, and he can just sit in there like that. Now I might have to tape him in place because yeah, I can see him slipping slightly, so we put a little bit of tape around that just to hold that in place, and then we can put our uh, vacuum hose onto this. Okay guys, there we are, all in place. Our reducers are all in place, everything is nice and held and we can just attach our hose just like that whenever we want. Now this is a Dewalt hose, that's what I bought. I got it pretty cheap and uh, so I went with that and it seems to fit everything and with the reducers on it just like that, 
uh, it seems to hold itself pretty good as well. So it's just a nice corrugated hose, nice and simple. So that can go straight into my track saw or into my router table or into my sander. So there we go. Now let's test it out, make sure everything is nice and sealed up and that we have good suction down this end. Let's do that. Okay, everything's hooked back up. All blast gates are closed and this thing will just compress this hose if there's uh, no air leaks. It has a pretty good suction on it. So let's try it out. So we have good, good tight seal on everything there. Let's give a listen to these. That all seems pretty good, so let's test it on this end. Okay, open our blast gate over to our MFT table. Can lock that guy open then. And let's see what suction we have. Okay guys, the blast gate is open and I have my automatic switches that I installed in a previous video. So if you wanna see how to do this system, I have a full video on it. These are wireless kinetic switches. Just hit that. There we go. So that's pretty good. So there we go, nice and easy, and it's easy to connect and disconnect this and put away this hose. I could put hangers up there, but uh, it's just as easy to come along here and uh, just pull that off and put the hose away when I'm not using it and just click it back on when I am using it. So there we go, pretty happy with that. Now the suction is not as strong as if I had my um, extractor right here, obviously. It's gonna lose a little bit with those bends, the length of run, and the extra length in this corrugated hose. But uh, all in all, pretty handy, and that's gonna make it much easier now. So my dust extractor never has to leave that position now. I can just hit my switches, open and close my blast gates, and it uh, works. Happy days. Okay guys, there we go. Just a quick video to share with you what I'm doing in the shop today. A little bit of an upgrade to my uh, dust extraction system and now I have a dedicated um, hose to my MFT table. So like I say, my dust extractor can stay there now and I can plug into my track saw right here or I can take it over and into my router table. Now I have some more attachments for this router table which I'll be adding in a later video so that you can extract air from the top and the bottom, but we have to build a router cabinet and stuff like that, so there's more work to do on this MFT table as well. We have to add wheels and some more cabinets to it as well. So that will be coming up in a later video. But for now, we've uh, improved the dust extraction a good bit, so now I don't have to keep wheeling over and back my dust extractor, it can stay there. And with the automatic switches around my shop, it's really gonna make things a lot handier. So there you go guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that, hopefully you've got some information for it, and hopefully it gives you guys some inspiration of just what you can do. Um, the soil pipe is a pretty kind of cost-effective way of getting a good system in and you can add to it over time. You don't have to put in a full system straight away. So you can just put in a small system and you can keep adding to it as you go. And uh, you can see how you can flare the pipes with a bit of heat, nice and handy. So you don't even have to buy couplers if you don't want to. You can just put them end to end with a tape and they'll seal up perfectly fine. So there we go guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that one. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, think about subscribing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one guys. Take it easy.